Hello everyone. So, over the weekend we had a bit of an accident. Um, things are a bit messed up right now. And what happened is that my cooler for winter cooling went into defrost and it dumped a bunch of water into the floor. Thankfully it didn't seem to damage anything. It was just a matter of wiping it up, which I did uh, Saturday night. Now that Sunday has passed, um, it looks like everything is fine and that's just what happened. And so today we're going to try and get everything put back together the way it's supposed to be or the way it, I kind of had it set up and liked it this most recent iteration. Um, and I might clean up and change things around just a hair. But first things first. Um, going to be taking and adjusting and killing some cats for scratching up the the insulation even more maybe trying to do a better look at my cooling situation here and um, I have an extra bucket that I use for thawing out rodents for the colubrids over there and if I can manage it we're gonna modify the fridge so that way when it goes into defrost it defrosts into the bucket and not into the floor let's get to work all right so after a few moments of investigation and a failed attempt at a cool time lapse because I didn't get to rip the fridge apart because it is all um, spray foam together actually it this thing is a big block of spray foam with panels screwed on. Uh, but this right here is the drain outlet, which means this is the drain pan. And so what happened is that, and it's actually a pretty ingenious invention, is that when, this, when the box goes into defrost, it um, lands in this metal pan, which is on top of the heat com hot compressor. So, the compressor helps to evaporate the water, the water get, helps keep the compressor cool, and you have uh, the drain right there. So, coming up, that will be very easy to get a small hose clamp and piece of hose and run to the bucket externally and uh, catch a large amount of water instead of just the small amount of water that this can hold. But that will be an easy fix, thankfully. So I'm going to get the room back together. Alright, now that that's back to the way it's supposed to be. We're going to... Feed some baby corn snakes. I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven that need to be fed. And after that, we're going to start prepping to cool um, snakes that are going to get bred next year or next season. Let's get to see if I can frame this up and get you guys a video or two of. Uh, the corn snake babies eating.
All right, everybody. So we only had one snake eat today. So now we're gonna come in and start getting snakes off the heat. Um, first things first, I'm gonna pull the bull, the bull snake rack out, get it unplugged, and then pull well, hog nose and the cut two corn snakes or four corn snakes that are gonna breed next year. It's time for everybody to get off the heat and start cleaning up tubs. Cleaning maybe tomorrow. Everything on the cooling racks. This is just a rack that's not turned on. Plan on doing two corn snake pairings. They may or may not decide to show themselves. Some will. Time to get everybody in nice, clean, dry tubs and get them to room temperature before we throw them on ice. You guys have a great day. Bye.